Hey folks, I hope you're all having a great weekend. Since it is the weekend, I thought it might be nice to do a very quick 60 second nuke tip. And this week I'm talking about workflow and shortcuts and how shortcuts can speed up your workflow. Uh, this was one thing I found really helped to speed up my workflow in Nuke, especially when just starting out and trying to find your way around. So, shortcut keys. In Nuke, there is a ton, but not to worry, there's really only a handful that, that you use every day, and it's this handful of shortcuts that make the biggest difference in terms of speed and efficiency. Once you get these down, you can slowly start to build on them until they all become second nature. But for now, we'll stick with just a few to get started with. Now, as I, as I did say, there are a ton, and you can pretty much do almost anything you want in, in Nuke using shortcuts rather than clicking through menus or multiple clicks of the mouse. But the ones I'm going to use here are the ones that I use all the time. Once, once you've practiced with these, I would recommend checking out the Foundry's website, and I'll place a link to that in the description so you can go check that out, look through it, and decide which of those shortcut keys uh, you want to start building on. And I would recommend just couple at a time, get used to them, practice with them uh, until they all become second nature. So which shortcut keys are we going to talk about today? Well we've got the merge which is M, M for merge. Then there is the grade, G. And these are the shortcut keys for these uh, don't really take that much remembering, they're, they're pretty straightforward. M for merge, G for grade. Roto is O for Roto, B for Blur, and T for Transform. Now, they're all very, very straightforward, and they all make sense in terms of the shortcut. It's either the first letter of the node, or it's something which, like in the case of Roto, sounds, sounds as if it belongs. And then there's W for Write, so... W and this is this is obviously for for writing out your file into whichever format you're delivering. And then there is R for read to read in your source materials. So those are the ones I would recommend practicing with all the time. Try to use those instead of digging through the menus, at least to start with, because the sooner you start getting used to shortcut keys, the sooner you can start to build on on your list of shortcut keys, and the quicker you'll become. Uh, using Nuke, as well as the more confident you'll become as well. There's one last shortcut key which really did make a massive difference for me in terms of workflow and speed, and that's the Y key. The Y key essentially joins two nodes together, and, and I'll show I'll show how that that works with the, with the merge node because that's probably the best one to demonstrate it with. So, with your target node selected, you hold the Shift key down and select another node, and then just press Y. You can let go of the shift key before you press Y. Uh, and that'll join the two nodes together. Uh, you can also, uh, another thing you can do with this, which is very, very helpful, is you can hold your target down, just as I did before, hold the shift key down and select your first, and then select another node, and then press Y. And that'll connect up two nodes to get, well, all three nodes together. Um, the first node after your target node that you select will always be the B pipe and the second node after you've select after your target node is is always the A pipe. Now, where this becomes really powerful and really useful is say you're working on a comp where it's it's quite complicated and you want to be able to see where you're working in context. Often you're not really working really this close in because you can't see the context of where you're working within the comp. Often you'll be working at this level or even further. Uh, and if I go out here and disconnect these you can see you can't even see the inputs to that node. However, what what I can do is select it, hold the shift key down, select the other two, and then press Y. And as you can see, it connects them both up in the order that I would expect as well. If you do happen to connect them in the wrong order, so say you've, you've selected um, the wrong one, so I'm selecting my target and I actually accidentally select the right instead of the read, and then press Y and I've got them in the wrong order. All you've got to do is, pre is, is click on your, your merge node and then press Shift and X and that'll swap the inputs around between A and B. And that's pretty much it really for today. I wanted to try and keep this short, but it is enough to be able to practice with. And then if you do practice often enough, you'll find that you do move around a lot quicker. 
hopefully your confidence in in the software will build as well as as your speed increases so hopefully that's helpful for everyone if anybody else has any ideas on 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 shortcut keys that you use all the time things that you find really helpful please do uh, put a comment in in the comments below i'll take a look other than that thank you very much for your time i hope you're having a great weekend and i'll speak to you all again soon happy comping bye